Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to attempt to use the laser to make a welding jig. Usually I weld the fittings to my products from the outside. I actually want to have a go at welding them from the inside uh, and see how I feel about that look. So I'm going to attempt to make a jig to hold these fittings while I weld them. I've just made this little template in VCARV. On these six millimeter parts there's about a millimeter a mil and a half that it didn't cut through on only in some certain spots which is usually an indication that the mirrors in this machine which are here back here and then one back in that corner there need adjusting and I think that's a result because I used to have the machine against this wall and in the last couple of days I've moved it over to this side of the shop for the simple fact that got 27 degrees on this wall fifty two degrees on this wall. You see I've got this uh, really large aquarium chiller and it simply just couldn't keep up being next to a, a really hot wall. I really hate aligning the mirrors but I'm going to leave it as a job for another day. The bottom four layers are 6mm MDF. And these fittings are 25 millimeters long. Six by four is 24. So they protrude a little bit. The fittings will earth to the welding table. And I've just oversized this cutout a fraction on these two sides. I can line it up to the top left corner. And if there's any discrepancies in the material, it's allowed for on the jig. The only other thing that I want to do is be able to lock it all in place. And I think initially I can just do that with a weight. So let's turn the gas on. Now if you've seen my previous video on how to become a great welder, that's me taking another bolt out of my bucket. Looks like it'll be fine for tacking, no good for welding as expected. I definitely need to practice more on this style of weld. Not something that I've done very often at all in my career, but um, really happy with that result. So laser cutting a quick and dirty uh, welding jig, super successful, a couple of dollars in material and what, literally 10 minutes of my time. Um, I've gone from concept to working part. And if this becomes a tool that I need a aluminum or metal version of, at least I've got proof of concept for, for a jig like that. This is one of those fail fast, fail cheap, fail often 
situations. I'm going to keep welding up some fittings. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate it. And I'm going to see you in the next one.